If you are not orange pill yet, you're gonna come here from Europe to Raab and I want to see you here. Thank This you. is fucking proof of work. <laughs> I'm bullish on this island, guys. Very bullish. Hey guys, my name is Pleb Music and welcome to my series, The Citadel Hunter. I want to show you all of the different Bitcoin citadels which are being built worldwide. But what exactly is a Bitcoin citadel? The idea of a citadel has existed since the dawn of history. 3000 years ago, the first citadels appeared as the strongest and safest part of a city. This citadel protected its inhabitants from malicious actors outside of the city. What were the benefits of living inside such a citadel? Basically, you had food supplies for everybody. You had self-sovereign energy resources. You were protected of the malicious actors outside and you had your own educational system within the citadel. Basically everything you required during uncertain times. And guess what? Uncertainty is a growing issue in today's world. Inflation in the United States soaring to its highest level in four decades. The global supply chain isn't functioning as it normally does. The Chinese authorities have put an entire city into lockdown after the discovery of just three asymptomatic COVID cases. And this is the exact reason why Bitcoiners are building Bitcoin citadels, which are very similar to the ones we talked about before. The goal is basically to build a structured society that will protect Bitcoiners' values and foster all kind of Bitcoin-related businesses. Just imagine a city which runs 100% of Bitcoin. Every transaction you make, Bitcoin. Every business, accepting Bitcoin. And every neighbor is a Bitcoiner. And that is basically a Bitcoin citadel. A place where people with shared values and common beliefs live together. And Raab in Croatia is the first European citadel which I have explored and I'm gonna show you today. I left my home country I just flew in here and I met a pleb. I was in contact via Twitter with him who set me up with basically everything. And his name is Pavao. Pavao, that's the pleb I was talking hello, about. Hello. He's gonna tell us a little bit about the island, uh, what it really is about here in Raab, because this is actually a pretty old citadel. So it's not just a Bitcoin citadel, but it has a, a rich history of being a citadel. And he's the expert. Not the expert, <laughs> but yeah, I can at least talk a little bit about the Rab Citadel. And to get the first overview of the Citadel, we went to a viewpoint in the old city. So we are standing on the top of the old city. And what you are seeing here is a very protected, secluded island. And the whole island throughout its history, it was never broken down, destroyed, because citizens of Rab, they always managed to somehow make a deal with the current empire. This just shows you that the roots of this very civilized citadel go very deep. This citadel was built by a plan Right, so it's divided in three parts. As you can see, the city is divided into different streets. The upper street, the middle street, and the lower street. And each of them has a unique backstory. So this is like the, the upper street. This is very spiritual, used to be aristocrat street. The real estate is a <laughs> store of value. Now we are in the middle street. Remember, three streets, upper, middle, and lower street. What you can see here is the street where all the merchants and producers used to be. Consume is actually accepting Bitcoin. So it starts, you know. This is the beginning of the Raab hyper-Bitcoinization. This street was mostly blue-collar workers, people who worked on the ships, tradesmen, and they would have their business performed here. That's a pleb street. So this is gonna be where we start out for this cycle. We're gonna just, you know, we're gonna work ourselves up Every cycle, <laughs> yeah. three to four cycles in, 
all of this is gonna be full of Bitcoiners. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> but for now, you're gonna work and live in the pleb street. Sorry, guys. We have to be honest, it's the beginning of the Bitcoin Citadel, right? This is the first Citadel I'm visiting. And obviously, we have a lot of Bitcoiners already here, but there's still a lot to do. The overall history and the background of this island and the mentality of people is very conducive for building the Bitcoin Citadel. People already understand the value of work. They have the traditional values. It's going to take some time, but I'm sure that like in three or four cycles, this is going to be amazing, amazing place to live. Like my main focus right now is really orange peeling people here on the island one by one. People need time to get what Bitcoin is. They need time to learn how to receive it, how to hold it securely. They need time to experience the number go up technology. That's, that's the strategy, just slowly, one by one. I like to take it slow, but make sure that people understand what they're getting into. This is basically the start of the orange pilling here on the island, right? There are yep. a lot of people getting into it. You can pay with lightning already in here. Yep. This is like the first step you can do as a European. If you're searching like-minded people, you can come here. So uh, what do I mean by that? Even though most of the people don't understand Bitcoin yet, their thinking and mind is primed to understand it soon. Pavao is doing a tremendous job with orange pilling them. <laughs> and you have a lot of Bitcoiners here. There will be more and more Bitcoiners that are coming to this week. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. Let's make sure I'm not wasting it in the future, right? Let me know what you're most interested about the Citadels. The Citadel food, the Citadel energy supply, or simply the taxes you're gonna pay in the jurisdictions. So comment down below what you want me to cover so I don't waste your time in the future. We're gonna make it, claps together strong, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.